You guys gonna be any good this year? I hope. If coach doesn't mess it up, we'll be okay. What uh, I mean is this. Uh, every, I know you have questions going in, but is this maybe the fewest amount of questions you have about a team going in because you have so many guys coming back? Yeah, I mean, I think there's, there's certainly less questions because there is a, a comfort level and a feel for what we have. Now there's plenty of room for concern because I think we are deficient in some ways. That we now the good news is I think the areas where we're, we're deficient, we have the ability to get better, and now we're through practice and concentration and effort, uh, we should be able to improve those things. What what are some of those deficiencies that you see? Well, overall defensively, I think is one thing we need to uh, continue to get better there. I think ball screen defense is going to be a key for us. I think defensive rebounding is going to be a huge key for us. Uh, the idea of blocking out and then pursuing the basketball and making sure uh, we chase down those things. Offensively, uh, trying to cut down the turnovers and then always trying to increase percentages uh, for shooting the basketball and then limiting turnovers. So those are gonna just a few of the things. <laughs> What's the message coming off last year's strong finish in the tournament to this year? Uh, it's in the foot in the rearview mirror and kind of build off that. Yeah, yesterday, last year was a ton of fun. It was great, great experience. The guys all had a good time, but it's done. And now it's a memory. We get to uh, look at those things uh, you know, after a career is done and say, boy, that was a fun time. But this year is a new chapter, a new book, and uh, hopefully we can learn from some of the mistakes and successes from last year. But we're really treating this as a new year uh, completely on its own and with an understanding that uh, uh, it is going to be something where teams are going to be coming after us. We can't sneak up on anybody this year. Uh, we have to put in a lot of work to prepare. Personnel wise, how, how do you guys replace CJ in his role from last year? Well, I think through a variety of things. I think we have, uh, I think Tosin and Chris and Haha, all of their roles will continue to increase. Uh, Lewis Sullivan's been playing up front in the front court for us. Thomas Smallwood, who's a new uh, seven footer, is going to play some minutes as well. So right now we have five guys in the front court who we feel all can contribute in different ways. So uh, I think CJ will certainly be missed, but I also think we have some pieces that can fill in there. You get all your guards coming back, and then you add Dirk. How, did, how does he fit into this year's team? Well, I think through the preseason we're going to find out. Uh, he is uh, kind of the prototype of what I like. He's long, he's lean, he's skilled, uh, can, can impact the game in a lot of different ways. I think defensively he has to learn and understand the value of that. But offensively, uh, from shooting the basketball, from slashing the offensive rebounding, I think he can really help. I saw uh, Steve Irvine's article, um, and I guess it's a good problem to have, but how much have you seen just the, the degree of difficulty to get somebody to play you guys change since you got here? Yeah, scheduling is brutal right now, especially if we're trying to get named teams where the fans get really excited and get them in the Bartow Arena. It's uh, nearly impossible right now. And so we're going to keep uh, making calls, begging, pleading, you know, trying to get people in here, uh, but it's something that um, is difficult. Early on in my career, it was a little bit easier because everybody wanted to play us. And uh, now that we have a little bit more of a foundation built here, I think there's a, it's been nice. I mean, there's a great level of respect for what we're doing, but it does make it difficult for scheduling. Thursday is the Hoops on the Asphalt. Uh, how, much, what, um, how much do you enjoy that event, and what does that mean for the program? It's kind of like, you know, basketball's here. Yeah, the, the event itself, I mean, Asphalt's kind of taken on a, a life of its own. It's, I will say that uh, it was important going into this year that we – keep the name but rebrand the product. You know, the product I felt like was uh, becoming a little bit monotonous, so there will certainly be some elements that are the same, but we're really trying to give it a different feel, a different flair, and I think to this point we're, we've done that. So I'm excited for people to come out and see that it is still asphalt, but it's a whole different uh, product, and I think it's going to be pretty exciting. What are fans going to see that come out diff th that you want to talk about? I mean, I know you like to probably surprise people, but what, what, what do they get into when they You know, come? we'll still have a three-point contest and a dunk contest. I think the video pieces, there's going to be some really good things there. Um, you know, I'm going to come in on the Goodyear blimp, I think, and just jump straight off of that, so that'll be fun to watch. But, uh, it is something that, again, we want to give a, a new look and a new feel for it. But I think being on the green on the center of campus in the middle of, of campus I think is important, especially during homecoming week and the excitement around uh, the campus this week. So, again, I think it's the biggest thing is it's new, it's fresh, and uh, it's an exciting start to the season. Health-wise, how are you guys? Good. I think everybody today is full go, uh, totally cleared to play. So we're going to push them hard, but also try and keep them healthy.